Hello and happy International Migratory Bird Day. Today I'm going to be talking about the magnificent peregrine falcon. These guys are really, really good at migrating. Um, so much so that their name, the peregrine, um, actually means wanderer or pilgrim. So these birds um, are found on every continent in the world, except Antarctica. It's just a little too, a little too cold there. Um, and all of those guys do migrate. Um, so I'm going to talk about the North American species of peregrine. Um, so the tundra um, nesting peregrines, so those guys that are going to be found up north in Canada, Alaska, um, they actually winter in South America. Um, and so that uh, distance that they're traveling can add up to more than 15,000 miles in one year. Um, the peregrine falcon has one of the largest migrations of any North American bird, which is really, really cool. We often get asked what uh, top speeds are for a peregrine. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple different numbers because they do um, different type of flights. Um, a typical cruising speed for a peregrine is going to be um, between 25 and 30 miles per hour. And um, when they are in pursuit of a prey um, and they are just flying um, from one place to another, they are not diving. Um, that is going to be more of about 65 to 70 miles per hour. And then I think the speed that they are famous for is going to be their stooping or their diving speed. And that's when they can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. I think 240 is about um, the fastest that these guys have been clocked. Um, so the stooping is where they go really, really high and then they flip their bodies over, they tuck their wings in, and they dive. Um, stooping can start anywhere from 300 to 3,000 feet in the air um, above their prey, and then again, they make those dives. Our peregrine falcon today um, is eating chicken, and we give him chicken and also quail a couple times a week. Um, and that's to mimic what his normal diet in the wild would be. Peregrine falcons do eat a lot of birds. It makes up the majority of their diet. Um, and I think they have been recorded as eating about 450 different species of bird. I'm sure it's more than that, but um, they're not picky when it comes to the types of birds that they like to eat. Um, so the way they go about catching their prey is really, really cool. Um, when they are in pursuit of their prey, um, a lot of times they can just catch it in midair. They have really, really big giant feet. They have really long, flexible toes that help them catch that prey in midair. Um, but when they are coming out of that stoop or that dive, oftentimes what they'll do is punch um, their prey and um, what that does is stun their prey. Sometimes if they're going fast enough, that punch will actually kill their prey. But a lot of times it's just going to stun the prey, um, which renders them unable to fly. And so after the peregrine punches it, then they would reach out and grab onto it with their feet. Um, the next thing that they're going to do almost instantaneously is they're going to sever the spinal cord of their prey. Um, falcons have what we call a tomial tooth on the um, sides of their beak. Um, it's not an actual tooth, um, it's just a little indentation on either side of their beak and what that allows them to do is sever the spinal cord in midair. Um, so that, if the punch didn't kill them, severing the spinal cord is most certainly going to um, kill the prey. And then oftentimes um, what they will do is they will pluck the feathers off of their prey um, and he, perfect timing, has decided that he wants to pluck some of the feathers off of this chicken. Um, the, the feathers on these chicken, um, the, these chickens are only 
about two days old, so their feathers are very, very fine, almost hair-like feathers. Um, so oftentimes they will just eat right through it, but this chicken is very dry, and <laughs> the feathers um, are very dry, so he's decided to pluck some of them off. And they just get in your mouth. But that's oftentimes what they will do um, when they catch their prey in midair. They'll pluck those big long flight feathers out um, to help eat it, to help um, them eat it. <laughs> Looks like Santa. Um, so peregrine falcons are a species that were um, that were on the endangered species list. They were um, having a really, really hard time. They were um, almost completely extinct um, from at least the east coast of the United States. Um, and the reason was because of the use of the pesticide called DDT. Um, and long story short, what was happening is that the DDT was affecting the female's ability to produce calcium. Um, so the DDT wasn't dropping birds out of the sky. Um, it was affecting them internally from being able to produce enough calcium to keep their eggshells um, from cracking. So um, the species went into a, a severe decline, um, so much so that they were put on the endangered species list. Um, and thankfully, because of pesticide bans and because of um, wonderful organizations and um, scientists getting together and reestablishing um, birds and nest sites in the east. Um, these birds were taken off of the um, endangered species list in 1999. Um, there's a group that is called the Peregrine Fund um, and back in the 1970s that group was instrumental in reintroducing these birds back into the east um, and really getting their numbers back up. Well, we hope you guys have a fabulous International Migratory Bird Day, and thank you for spending some time with our peregrine falcon. <laughs>